Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what is going on for you guys in love. If it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, personal readings, I'm available, okay? They are video recorded. Some are sent by email, Etsy message. It just depends on what you want. <laughs> um, your bonus reading for October, How Does Your Person Feel? It is up on Vimeo. If you want to check that out, go ahead. Okay, It's in the description box. All right, let's see. I'm going to get one card for the challenge for you guys right now, what you're facing in love. Okay, so let's see. Taurus. What is the challenge that Taurus is facing right now in love? One card for the challenge for Taurus. Okay, the star, okay, so Aquarius energy. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with Aquarius. Um, let's see, we have look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So Taurus, your challenge right now is to see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? To still have hope and faith that something here is going to work out for the best. So you may be in a very difficult time where you've lost um, optimism about a situation. It's challenging and you don't know how to move forward. There's something about you not losing hope, okay? Keeping your hope and faith alive. And there could be some healing as well taking place with the star energy. All right. So let's see. Uh, Aquarius. Taurus, right? You could be done with Aquarius. Let's see what the challenge is, um, the current energy here right now. All right. The current energy for Taurus. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Hanged One and we have the Eight of Swords. So some of you guys done with the Pisces. Taurus, in a current energy, it does look like there was some kind of downfall of a relationship, of some kind of partnership. Maybe you were in a commitment with this person. There was definitely an idea that you guys have had something that was um, being built upon, okay? I feel like right now things are stuck because I'm getting something recently ended. You guys have gone separate paths, different ways. And now things are kind of like hanging there. I'm getting that you don't know what to expect. Maybe you're not communicating with this person right now, Taurus. There's some a lot of stuck energy. But I also feel that Taurus, there's a lot of thinking that's going on behind the scenes. Maybe even overthinking Taurus because I do feel someone is very much in their head. A lot of mental conflict going around and around the situation. Not really sure what to do. So there may be a lack of change, a lack of movement right now, okay? All right, but it does say the star, it says happy changes, right? Happy changes that are going to bring relief from these challenging times. So that's kind of good to know. All right, let's see. Give me the recent past energy for Taurus. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. So in the past tours, there was definitely a situation that brought a lot of stress and anxiety to your life. I do feel like at one point you saw yourself being happy with someone, but there's something that may have happened where, you know, you just don't see that anymore, right? The Ten of Cups in reverse could be a family situation. There's a lot of emotional dissatisfaction, a lot of emotional um, emotions in general at an all-time high between you and this person. And I feel like there's something in the past that you're trying to get over something that may have happened that didn't go your way, didn't go as planned. And I do feel someone here, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Um, or it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's someone who feels regretful for something they've done, the what they may have said, what they could have done uh, behaviorally, okay? I'm getting someone here did not perform their best and there's some kind of situation they feel really bad about, all right? So Taurus, let's see what's on your mind, what's coming in. We have the Hierophant, that's you, the Ace of Swords, and we have the Four Cups in reverse. I do feel a lot of you guys are trying to overcome an opportunity that you felt was missed between you and this person, Taurus. I think that, Taurus, you are trying to stay committed to a goal. There's something here that you may have um, on your mind, okay, what something about you being committed to something. We're going to find out what that's about. But I really feel, Taurus, there's something here about you wanting to know the entire truth. Why something didn't happen? What happened? Why did it fail? Um, why did this person reject you? Okay, there's some kind of rejection here with the four cups. There was some missed opportunity. And I feel, Taurus, you do want to know the truth. There's something here where you wanting to know the truth so that you can, um, you know, move forward. So you can overcome some kind of opportunity that did not happen. So let's see what's in the foundation, what you're not aware of. We have the Fool in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the Death, Scorpio energy, and the Star, Aquarius energy, okay? So let's see. We do have um, Aries, we have Scorpio, and we have Aquarius. So 
I do see someone here, Taurus, in your life. Someone here who may have walked away. Maybe you walked away from them. There's someone here who's still emotionally connected to you. I do feel like they want to return. They want some kind of change, okay? The death card speaks about change, some kind of transformation. They're not happy with the way things end, the way things stand between you and them. But the thing is, is I feel like this is someone who's having a difficult time coming towards you. I feel like there, there's some trust issues here. Maybe you don't trust this person and they know it. And it's almost like if they were to come towards you, it'd be a big risk. It would almost be like, oh, something wouldn't work out for them, okay? So that could be stopping your person from coming towards you right now, Taurus. They feel not so hopeful, optimistic that they can find a way back into your life. Maybe they feel the doors closed um, because there is some kind of ending here, okay? So let's see what we can find out as far as the outcome. The temperance in reverse. We have the seven of wands. And the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, we got Sagittarius as well. Taurus, coming into the near outcome, um, the near future, it does look like there's a situation here where someone is very anxious. Someone is very anxious. I'm getting they want movement. They want change. Um, I feel like this is someone who's been keeping their eye on you now. There may be some communication coming in from someone here. Page of Swords, I think maybe you guys may be doing some um, assessing or analyzing. This could be your energy as well. There's something you're having to find out, okay, with the Page of Swords. Do some investigating, asking around. Um, oh, this could be just research, right? You have to find find out something here because I'm getting that there is a situation here where you may have given up on someone you are no longer being patient you decided they you know what this is something I can't keep waiting for but I also feel that Taurus there's something here that you still want to protect there's still something here with the seven of wands you still want to protect you still want to safeguard and it could be this connection so let's get some more messages for you guys Taurus if this is your reading be sure to like share comment and subscribe Okay, your bonus reading is up on Vimeo, should you be interested. So let's see, why is the hanged one here? There is some kind of um, ending that happened, but why are things stuck with the hangman? We have the four wands in verse. We have the empress and the hierophant in reverse. Could be a Taurus. We got a Libra energy. That's you, right, with the Taurus energy. Um, Taurus, I do feel there is a situation. Could be a home situation. Definitely could be a marriage. We do have some marital energy here. Um, I feel like things are stuck because there is a situation that where there's a lot of imbalances where you guys are not in harmony with each other. Maybe you can't even talk to each other at this time. But what I'm also seeing, Taurus, is that the reason why someone is in hangman is because, well, there's a lot of thinking and assessing because someone still believes in this connection. Someone still feels with the empress. There's still love here. There's still an ability to have this new beginning. There's still fertile uh, soil here. There's something that is still alive that can thrive, that can flourish. And I think, I think even though someone is not able to commit to you right now, or there's some kind of ending of a commitment here with the her font in reverse, okay, and maybe even someone moved out of the home, I feel there's something here that's still alive and that can still again grow from um this connection so i don't think this is someone has given up entirely and i think that you guys may be trying to find a way um with the hangman on how how to have this new beginning with the empress because someone still does feel that's possible why is the eight of swords someone is in their head about something here the Eight of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. I see that Taurus, there's definitely um, someone here. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of things that have been left unsaid, and I feel like it's keeping you both in this place of anxiety, worries, right? I think that you guys, I'm getting bottled up. I'm getting a lot of things you, this person wants to tell you. They want to be honest that I, I don't think they've been honest about. I'm getting that communication just got shot. All of a sudden, someone stopped talking. Someone may have just fled the scene, and I feel like this is someone who's very much in their head about this. Um, it could be separation due to a third party with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, but I also see this person not talking because they just feel like you guys are not on the same page. And there's a lot of anxieties and worries about them talking to you right now. And I think that someone has to get out of their head in order for communication to happen. So let me see the recent past. There's a lot of stress here. Four of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Devil. 
some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. In the past, I, I think there was a lot of stress because someone felt the other person wasn't investing enough. Someone here wasn't giving it their all. And I think that there definitely was an opportunity that was missed with someone who they really actually love. But I also think that this someone here may have had some kind of toxicity Um something that they may have been holding on to that created blockages in this relationship that may have prevented them from offering their true love. There could be an addiction here with the devil. It could be some kind of third party situation. It could be anything, but the devil is definitely, it caused some interference and it caused someone to not give entirely or fully. Okay. And I think that someone here is realizing in a recent past Taurus that this connection was worth it, but they didn't show it. They didn't act like it. They didn't put in the time, the energy, the effort to really make something work. And so as a result, there's a situation here where they're very stressed out about, and there's a, a, a energy of feeling regretful, regret with the five of cups. Why is the five of cups page of cups? So the five of cups in reverse clarified by the page of cups and the two pentacles in verse. Someone feels regretful for dropping something here in the past, dropping this connection, not giving a damn, letting something go. Someone may have made a decision between two people. It could have been, again, a third party. Someone decided to um, pick a different road or a route, a different path. And I'm getting that that was a bad decision because someone here definitely wants to apologize to you. I feel like this is someone who's apologetic who may want to um, f be forgiven for something. But again, they don't know how. And I'm getting that um, it could be, again, because of this toxic behavior or mindset that got um, them caught up and made a bad decision. So I think that in the past, there is definitely a, some kind of breakdown or breakup of a relationship, um, of a family, a home, a household of some sort. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is about. Taurus, you have the Ace of Swords for you. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands, reverse the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. So Taurus, I think that you really want truth as to, first off, there could have been a Queen of Wands in the environment. You may want some clarity on who this person was, what their connection was maybe to this Queen of Wands. It could be a Leo, Sag, Aries, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, I also feel that Taurus, you want truth as to why this person um, Stop giving. Stop giving a damn, right? There was a commitment. There was a family. There was some kind of situation here you guys were building. It was very secure. And you want to know why this person stopped pursuing you. Um, you want to know the truth as to why something here collapsed, okay? That was once very stable. Because a lot of you guys, you feel rejected by this person. Four cups. Yeah, four cups came out in the verse again. And the hangman. You want to know the truth because there's something here that you've been holding on to. You've been feeling stuck because you don't know why an opportunity was missed. It seems so promising. It seems so loving. And it's almost like, well, why didn't something happen? Why did you push me away? Um, was I not good enough? You want clarity. You want truth. Okay, so let me see what's going on in the foundation. We do have someone here who um, wants a new beginning. They do want to come back to you, Taurus. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? King of Pentacles, we have the Justice card and the Fool card. So yeah, I mean, look at this energy. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we got Aries, we got Libra. Uh, I feel very strongly, Taurus, that they look at you as, um, you know, someone that they can have stability with, someone that they can have a long-term future with. They look at you as very sound, stable, reliable. I feel this is someone who wants to return to you to make things better, to make things right. I do see someone, Taurus, who has not given you in a fair, just, balanced manner, and now they're wanting to right their wrongs, and they want a new beginning, the full card, right? They want to take the leap of faith. They want you to make a decision about them, to let them in, to have this new beginning, okay? So definitely some Someone here wants to return eight of cups in verse to um have you know get back in your life why is a death card there's some kind of change here the seven of cups and the wheel and the ten of swords so what what is change with your person it looks like there's something here about your person having a lot of options maybe there was a lot of people that they were dealing with at one point and they could have been very confused i think that this is someone who may have given up on you because they may have had other people they were interested in at the same time and their feelings were all over the place but what i'm seeing is that there was a change of event there was a change of event some of you guys i'm getting your person went through some kind of ten of swords some kind of betrayal could have been with a third party could have been with a karmic with the devil card here i feel like this is some kind of ending that happened in your person's life recently that made them change their perspective on you on the connection it made them realize how special you are right it made you it made them realize um, that you were in fact their dream okay and that could have been the challenge for this person too to realize what they had in you Taurus to realize how special how incredible this connection was that this was just no ordinary connection that they ran away from so the star is here because there's healing taking place between you and this person Taurus and um yeah there's something about optimism believing in something here and not giving not losing hope 
So let me see um, with the temperance in reverse. I think that this is someone here who's very anxious and worried. Why is the temperance could be a Sagittarius? Someone is really worried because I'm getting that with the, ju with the judgment card, the queen of swords, and the nine of wands in reverse. Taurus, I feel like your person knows they have to come to you with the truth. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Chris. This is someone who wants a final decision to be made about this connection, but they're hella anxious. They're worried with the temperance in reverse. I'm getting trembling because they know that you want to know everything. They know they have to come to you with the truth and the entire truth, right? And there's something about them feeling as if Taurus, you've given up on them, as if, you know, it's been too difficult, it's been too too much, and you kind of just let it all go, the nine of wands, and they feel as if you're no longer wanting to persevere, you're no longer wanting to make a sacrifice to keep this, keep this connection. So I do feel, um, yeah, your person is very anxious, worried, they do feel like maybe you're blocking them out, as if you won't want to hear them out, and so this could be someone also keeping an eye on you, Taurus, so keeping an eye on you from afar, waiting for the right opportunity, why is the page of swords here? We have the death in reverse, the page of wands in reverse with the five of swords. I feel like this is someone who's definitely feeling really defeated. It's almost like they feel, I'm getting a cowardly uh, type of um, energy here, where obviously they want this new beginning, okay? The death in reverse, it could be a Scorpio. They obviously want this new beginning, but they don't feel so confident, right? This is someone with the page of wands in reverse. They don't think that they can come to you. They can send you a message. They don't think it's going to be received well. They're, they're definitely conflicted because um, they don't know if they still have a place in your life, Taurus. And so I'm getting this is someone who's in conflict with, with their energy within themselves to come toward you for this new beginning. So as a result, they're keeping an eye on you. Page of Swords, they're watching you on your Facebook, your Instagram. They're keeping an eye on you to see what's going on with you and trying to decipher when's the best time to come back because we do have the death coming out twice. They do want to change the direction at which this is going, okay? So Taurus, that is your reading. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus reading, How Does My Person Feel for October is up on Vimeo. So check it out if you're interested. All right, you guys, take care.